I want to talk to you about something that most people are, are just freaked out about in the natural health field. It's toxic exposure. Toxins are considered um, poisons and they're pretty much everywhere you go. It's hard to avoid them. They're in the foods you eat from pesticides that are sprayed and, and stuff that's in the ground. It's in the water you drink uh, from waste dumps and uh, rivers and things like that. And really, seriously, in the air you breathe. We breathe up to 10,000 gallons of air a day. That's a lot of air. Uh, outside, there's not much you can do to control that. There's diesel fuel and gasoline and industrial byproducts and good luck with trying to control that. You can't wear a mask and a uh, fog and hazmat suit every day, but you can do something about the air in your home. And surprisingly, the Environmental Protection Agency says 10 to 50 times the levels of pollutants are in your house compared to outside. Is that crazy? So you've got this gigantic level of toxins you can control in your own home. And the way that you control them is by not cleaning with toxic solvents on your countertops and your floors. Try to keep formaldehyde furniture to a, a very minimum. That's the press board stuff that's so heavy it's hard to lift. And at nighttime, or when there's not a whole lot of uh, confusion and congestion, you can open your windows or doors and get fresh air in to handle that tight building syndrome from brand new construction so that you get good fresh air in the house and you reduce your toxic exposures. I'm going to give you some good tips in the next little segment and teach you how to keep your toxins to the bare minimum.